वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन वन सब्जेक्ट फॉर द यूनिट नंबर सिक्स टनल इंजीनियरिंग माई सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर नितिश अरुण मोहिते वर्किंग इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग भारतीय विद्यापीठ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर एंड आई कम्पिटेड माई मास्टर्स डिग्री इन सिविल स्ट्रक्चर्स so in the today's session we are going to discuss the points that are comparison between open cuts and tunneling types of tunnels what how the classification of tunnels is been done and size and shape of tunnel and their suitability so in the previous lecture we have gone through the introductory introductory part of tunnel engineering correspondingly seen what was the historical background what are the advantages and disadvantages of tunnel okay so in the today session we'll see these points so we'll go one by one so starting with first comparison between open cuts and tunneling okay so what is the basic difference between open cuts and tunneling okay so that we are going to see here okay so actually here you can see okay <clears throat> so there is one front shovel so which is just excavating okay so there is separate instrument there okay one equipment is there so which we can by which we can just excavate the material but here in the case of tunneling you are requiring uh, correspondingly tunnel boring machine okay so for doing the tunneling so there are always uh, certain correspondingly debate that are arising on the cost that is consumed between the open cuts and the tunneling techniques okay so which is more economical okay so if we consider the factors like open cuts that are very costly when we go as the dip of the soil goes on increasing with varying nature and slopes so correspondingly that open cut accounts for large volume of excavation which is costly but at such situation the tunneling method is uh, more economical than the open cuts okay again when the material of drilling is rock okay so open cut performs well with less amount of excavation and it is cheaper in that case okay while tunneling method is found difficult as it uh, it shows various activities are required and more precision is required in case of tunneling and correspondingly based on the requirement of material for nearby filling an open cut method can be suggested but the tunneling is found comparatively economical in working okay so basically the tunneling method is been recommended whenever we are going to go for the depth of cutting which is greater than 60 feet okay so correspondingly this is the basic comparison whether you are depending upon the situation or depending upon the economy or depending upon the requirement you are going to go either for the open cut or tunneling okay moving to the next part types of tunnels okay so they are been classified on the basis of purpose geological location or condition and cross sectional shapes okay so uh, based upon purpose it might be a railway tunnel metro system highway tunnel pedestrian tunnels water tunnels sewage tunnels service tunnels storage tunnels based on geological location or condition it might be rock tunnel earth tunnel and submerged tunnel then uh, depending upon the cross sectional shapes so it might be rectangle shape circular shape electrical shape 
एक शेप हॉर्स शू शेप सेगमेंटल शेप ओके और इट माइंड बी सेगमेंटल शेप और पॉलिसेंट्रिकल शेप ओके सो डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सी फर्दर वील सी वन बाय वन सो दैट वॉज द टाइप्स ऑफ टनेल्स हाउ दे आर बीन क्लासिफाइड ओके अगेन वील सी मोर इन डिटेल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ टनेल्स सो क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ टनेल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द अलाइनमेंट ओके क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द टनेल्स एज पर द अलाइनमेंट सो इट माइट बी करस्पॉन्डिंगली स्पायरल टनल्स सो यू कैन सी हियर स्पायरल टनल्स आर देयर सेकेंड वन इज द ऑफ्सपर टनल्स ओके सो वेन एवर सर्टन शॉर्टेज इज देयर ओके आर सर्टन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इज देयर सो वेर यू रिक्वायर सच काइंड ऑफ प्रोविजन ऑफ एनी टनेल इन दैट केस यू कैन गो फॉर द ऑप्शन ऑफ स्पर टनेल्स नेक्स्ट here you can see saddle tunnels okay so they are been constructed in the mountains okay and again here it is the slope tunnel so where there is a gradient the difference is there so in such a case you can go for the slope tunnels okay so here you can see there is such kind of gradient difference is there okay so such, a, such kind of it is also an example of slope tunnel moving further based upon correspondingly classification of tunnel is also done on the purpose so whether it is a conveyance okay so correspondingly whether it is to be used for water supply tunnel correspondingly hydroelectric power tunnel sewer tunnels tunnels for intake and conduit of public utilities okay and transporting tunnels in industrial plant and depending upon the traffic tunnels okay so traffic tunnel means correspond it might be highway tunnel railway tunnel navigation tunnel pedestrian tunnels or subway tunnels okay and third type is nothing but that is classification of tunnel based on type of material so whether you are going to do the construction of the said tunnel through which it is going to pass it might be a hard rock it might be a soft soil or it might be in presence of a loose sand okay so these are the classifications of tunnels based on alignment corresponding to purpose and material okay moving further so now we are knowing what is the classification how the classification is done but uh, question arises that what should be the size or exactly what type of shape of the tunnel should be adopted for particular purpose okay so that point we are going to discuss it here that is size and shape of tunnel and suitability okay so the size and shape of the tunnel depends upon correspondingly the nature and type of ground through which it passes okay and also whether it is designed to carry a single or double railway line road pavement okay sewer line etc etc okay so correspondingly uh, the size and shape of the tunnel should be such that uh, correspondingly the whatever the lining which is required in order to resist the pressures that are exerted by the unsupported walls of the tunnel during the excavations that should be done to a more greater uh, precision level okay so that are the introduction to the size and shape so we'll see what is the size of the tunnel consist of the size of the tunnel okay <clears throat> so basically the size of the tunnel is based upon shape and based on requirement okay so the minimum diameter of the tunnel is fixed with consideration of the transportation excavation and hauling during the tunneling okay so it has been decided that it should be greater than 2 meter in case of circular section and in other case of other shapes should be greater than 1.9 meter in width and corresponding 2.1 meter in height correspondingly based on requirements for example to carry large discharge okay so if you are proposing to uh, flow the water through it so corresponding the size of tunnel uh, should be greater than that okay again depending upon the transportation purpose also with the size of tunnel is fixed okay and correspondingly whether it should be single lane double lane road you are going to make it okay 
so that is nothing but size of tunnel okay so now you are knowing what is the size of the tunnel but correspondingly we should know that what type of shape should be provided what is its suitability where the particular type of shape of the tunnel should be utilized okay so that also a person should know because we have seen that the main correspondingly disadvantage of tunneling is nothing but a skilled person or a sound knowledge having person is only required or unless and until if you are not having such kind of person you cannot go for construction of the tunnel okay so we'll see what are the shapes of tunnels so basically these are the shapes of tunnels first one polycentric second one circular third one rectangular fourth one egg shaped tunnel fifth horseshoe type next elliptical and last segmental okay type of tunnel so we'll see one by one in detail along with advantages and disadvantages okay so starting with the first polycentric shape tunnels okay so this sort of uh, tunnel shape has a number of centers okay and pro which provides a sufficient flat base for traffic movement so here you can see uh, flat base is there so which can provide a correspondingly sufficient uh, passage for the traffic movement basic advantage of uh, such kind of polycentric shape of tunnel is that it can be used for ro road and railway traffic correspondingly it can resist external pressure or internal pressure for which it is been designed so due to the provision of this arch okay as the concrete lining uh, it can be done okay so there is no such kind of damage but the disadvantage is that the construction of this tunnel is difficult and the lining of this tunnel is also difficult okay so these are the disadvantages of such polycentric shape of tunnels moving further next next type of tunnel is nothing but circular shaped tunnels so here you can see a circular tunnel is there which is used basically used for carrying the water under pressure okay and actual image also you can see so this uh, circular shaped tunnels are not appropriate for traffic tunnels because more filling is needed to make the base flat okay so here you can see we are requiring more material so basic advantage, uh, advantage is that it can resist the external or internal force corresponding it provides a greater cross sectional area for the least perimeter okay but the disadvantage is that we are requiring more amount of filling at the base okay to to form a flat base so that correspondingly the road uh, pavement can be constructed or railway track can be constructed and in circular tunnels okay in the circular tunnel so uh, corresponding lining which is required okay so it is a uh, correspondingly difficult task to work on it okay so it is a difficult one okay so these are the disadvantages of circular shaped tunnels moving to the next type of tunnel based on shape so that is rectangular shaped tunnels okay so for pedestrian traffic okay rectangular shaped tunnels are appropriate okay so here you can see correspondingly and correspondingly these tunnels are sometimes accepted if pre constructed rcc cations are used and these types of tunnels uh, are not suitable to resist external pressures due to their rectangular shape and these are not in uh, used these days Ma major of the uh, disadvantage as it can cannot sustain the load okay so these are not been used basically right nowadays okay so basically they are been used where in the case of pedestrian traffic next is egg shaped tunnel okay so this uh, tunnel shape that is egg shaped tunnel has a number of centers and uh, radius length so these are suitable as sewer <coughs> <coughs> these are mostly adopted for carrying sewage water okay and due to their uh, smaller cross sections at the bottom it can maintain the self cleaning velocity okay and correspondingly uh, of flow of sewage in the dry and rainy season so it can resist external and internal pressures due to uh, their circular walls 
okay but the disadvantage is that uh, again the construction process of this tunnel is very difficult as lining is the main part okay okay got it but it is more efficient uh, due to their smaller cross section at the bottom and which provides uh, self cleaning velocity of flow of sewage in the case of dry and rainy season okay next type is nothing but horse shoe type tunnel okay so that is the other type so this horse shoe type tunnel shape is a combined shape of arches and circular tunnel okay so this type of tunnels uh, shapes are quite popular okay nowadays okay so basically such kind of uh, horseshoe type tunnels are being used okay next one is the elliptical shape tunnel Okay, so for carrying water, elliptical shaped tunnels are more appropriate, and these are more suitable in softer materials basically. And for better resistance to external pressure, the major axis of these tunnels is maintained vertically. Okay, so this is nothing but the major axis. Okay, so in the case of uh, in order to ease the external pressure that are supposed to be maintained vertically, that is in the case of elliptical shaped tunnels. last type of uh, shape of tunnel is nothing but segmental okay so segmented tunnels are suitable for traffic tunnels as you can see here a flat surface is there and it has been uh, provided with an arched roof and straight sides okay so as i told you these are been generally used for subway or navigation tunnels so these are most suitable correspondingly in the uh case of rock tunnels corresponding it is suitable to resist external load due to their arch shaped roof it has flat floor which is helpful during driving and moving of any kind of equipment okay correspondingly the shape of the cross section of a cement concrete line tunnel uh, depends on the pressure of the ground which is the uh, lining must be able to resist and purpose for which the tunnel is to be constructed okay but correspondingly it should be kept in mind if the ground is a solid rock then any shape may be adopted okay but soft for for soft ground such as soft clay or sand the pressure from the sides as well as from the top is to be resisted in such difficult situations we are requiring cir circular cross sections is best to take if it is if it is able to serve the purpose of the tunnel then and then only you can go for the provision of the said tunnel okay so in the today's session we have seen correspondingly <clears throat> what are the types of tunnels how the classification of the tunnels is been done and what is the size and shape of the tunnel okay Thank you.